Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to insert effects processing on your tracks in Studio One. Let's check it out. All right, so you're in Studio One here and you want to begin using some effects processing on your tracks. Well, it's never been easier. What I have here soloed is an acoustic guitar track from our session Lucky Ones, courtesy of Pearl Sound Studios. Let's take a listen to this quickly. Now, there are a couple of ways to insert effects, and I'm gonna show you the most easiest ones. If you're in the editor window here, which is what we're looking at, simply open up your file browser, and under the home button, if that's where you are, you'll see effects. Now, under effects, you have sort by. You can choose flat, which gives you a reference of all of the effects installed on your computer. As you can see, I've been doing this for quite a while. Folder, which will give you groups, uh, group your effects in folders, for example, all my dynamics processing, EQs, and anything related to further mixing and modulation. Then you've got Vendor, which is one of the folders I like because you can see your, your plugins here by the manufacturer. And then Type. So you have VST3s, 2s, audio units, and Presonus native effects. Now the top ones are referring to chains, effects chains, which we'll get into later. But right now, uh, I wanna highlight that Presonus comes with native effects. Now these effects are built into Studio One and they're extremely powerful, but also very resourceful on your computer. Sometimes using third party effects, effects that you choose to install from other manufacturers can be very quick and resourceful as well, but the built-in Studio One effects won't incur any latency like other third party manufacturers might. So keep that in mind. And notice you also get a small image with each one. See what I mean? I love how you can see when you open them up, you can expand them. For example, channel strip here. Let's do channel strip. Uh, and when you expand the channel strip, like so, you can drag this right onto there if you want, but when you expand it, you'll have access to some of your presets or the ones that are included. So I'll choose Acoustic Guitar Hard, drag it onto my track and let go, and it's as simple as that. We can see that this preset introduces some kind of EQ curve and some compression. Let's take a listen to this now. There. So now what we're doing is inserting effects here from our editor window. Well, if you're working in your mix window, it's just as easy. I'll open up our mix view and I'm going to expand our view there. And you'll see our channel strip. There it is located right there on our acoustic guitar. Now, if I select this just once, it gives you access, quick access to these these important parameters. So you don't have to double click all the time to see the expanded full graphical user interface. You can just select that once and get some access to some really cool parameters. Let me double click this and I'll do work with it both ways just to show you. I'm gonna, for example, toggle my, my see, my low cut on and off. Let's take a listen to this. So these handy, quick editing parameters, I find really use resourceful. You can grab one and tweak it, of course, while it's playing back in real time and stop when it sounds good and that's what you wanna do. All right, now if you right click on it, you can edit it, collapse it, rename it, bypass it, and yes, add it to your favorites folder. You can store the preset, disable it. Disabling it will disable the insert, but leave it visible for you to see there, so you know it's still there if you want to use it, but it'll be grayed out, and you can remove the effect. Now, inserting effects here right on the channel strip, you've got a choice here, the disclosure arrow, to insert an effects chain, but you've got the plus icon. When you open this, you get a same similar view that you get from when we're working within the browser. Flat, folder, vendor or manufacturer, and type. There. And you could choose from any one of these, for example, chorus. And there it is inserted now. Let's take a listen to this.
as easy as that. And when you collapse your mixer, I also want to point out, here's a quick little tip, is I'm going to go from large to small. You'll see that the inserts here are now side by side. So this section, this box we're looking at here, was once on top of the channel strip here and the faders in this view. So here they are above and here they are on the side. If you don't see them, you can collapse and expand them using these, this icon right here. Here it is expanded and here it is collapsed. And if you don't happen to see your sends, for example, they may just be reduced down here. Just simply drag them up if you also want to see your sends included. All right. So that's how simple, quick, and easy it is to insert effects processing onto your track. Either from the edit window here, like I showed you, simple drag and drop, or your mix window here, you can also drag and drop, or directly from the insert channel itself here in Studio One. So try it out for yourself at any time. It's very resourceful and very intuitive, using and inserting effects here directly into your tracks on Studio One. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.